Okay, this video is we're putting in liners. Um, we're putting in liners in these ports. This is the lining material. This is aluminum. I've used brass. I'm going to drill it. I'm not going to drill it all the way through. I'm going to stop just past where the ports have been broke through. The customer wants them lined. You don't necessarily need to line a port when it's broke through. Uh, on the intake side, usually RTV, a little bit here and a little bit under the washer will seal it. A customer wants them lined, so we're going to line them. These are my broaching tools. When I put this aluminum in here, I'm going to drive my broaching tools through there. That's going to expand it out. I'm going to try to stop it from going all the way through. I only want to drill and ream as far as I need to for the tube to go in. I don't want to take any more material out of the head than I need to. So I've got it, a core drill I'm going to use going to center up roughly with the car drill. I've shined down a locating pin, which is a transfer punch, and I've got everything pretty much square and ready to go. So we're going to drill one hole. I might probably make this in two videos, so um, I'm probably not going to run the machine during the operation, but you get the idea. Um, I'll show you a second video of me putting in the liner and um, installing it and showing exactly what I mean about putting the liner in when a port's been, you know, you can say it's been overported. Well, you know, guys at port heads are going to go for the most flow numbers and the best. And if the port gets in the way, some of them just say, so be it. Um, this isn't a real big job and it's not nothing unusual. But the customer wants them lined. I'm not going to argue with them. That's what we're going to do.